The American private military company Forward Observation Group confirmed its participation in the attacks of the armed forces of Ukraine on the Kursk region and published a photo with its mercenaries on Instagram. The footage shows soldiers posing in front of an HMMWV armored vehicle as part of a group of Ukrainian fighters. The geolocation is Kursk Oblast, and the caption to the publication reads, The Boys in Kursk. The founder of the private military company, Derek Bales, is in the center of the photo. Earlier it was reported that the American administration continues to deny Washington's involvement in planning or preparing an attack by the Ukrainian armed forces on the Kursk region. White House Press Secretary Karine Jean-Pierre refused to discuss Ukrainian military operations and noted that the Ukrainian leadership should comment on the actions of the Ukrainian armed forces. The first post related to the PMC's actions in Ukraine was published on February 26, 2022. It depicted a destroyed armored vehicle, and the post itself was signed with an emoji of the Ukrainian flag. This week, a photo of a man with a PMC patch appeared on the company's Instagram page. Based on geolocation data, the photo was taken in the city of Chesov Yar. Earlier, the Russian Foreign Ministry spoke about the participation of an American PMC in the attack on the Kursk region. Some Russians are happy about the arrival of the Ukrainian armed forces in the Kursk region and are even asking to be liberated from Vladimir Putin. As Nexter writes, during a conversation with Ukrainian soldiers in one of the settlements of the Kursk region, Russian Andrei asked that the Ukrainian armed forces hang Putin. At the same time, he noted that he received humanitarian aid from Ukraine. You've given it all. May God bless you. Beat the fascists really beat them hang the putin hang him please said the emotional russian at the end of the conversation the soldier said glory to ukraine the russian replied glory to the heroes after taking control over the russian town of sudza the ukrainian army has now established humanitarian corridors allowing civilians to leave some residents make their way to ukraine more than 130,000 people, according to the Russian authorities, have fled border areas or been evacuated from them since Ukrainian forces began their incursion on August the 6th. Many have found themselves in this regional capital, a city of about half a million. Ivan Krutikovo, who said he had served for four months with a Russian private military force near Kherson in southern Ukraine, has turned his boxing club in Kursk into a temporary shelter. He has been expecting something like this attack for more than a year, he said, adding, A lot of people still do not understand the overall seriousness of what is happening. Many people ignore the situation around them and think it will pass them by, he said. But we are already experiencing it firsthand. Evacuated residents of Russia's Kursk Oblast are being taken to recreational facilities in Russian-occupied Crimea, Suspiln, Crimea reported. An employee of one of the Crimean recreational facilities told Suspiln Crimea on condition of anonymity that local authorities had begun bringing refugees from Kursk Oblast to their city, which was not disclosed by the source for security reasons. Deputy Permanent Representative of Ukraine's President in Crimea, Denis Chistikov, told Suspiln Crimea that the regional branch of the Red Cross in Kirsch initiated the resettlement of Kursk Oblast's residents to the territory of the Crimean city. 35 people had already moved into facilities in Yevpatoria, Chistikov claimed. Chistikov said that Russia's transfer of population from the Russian territory to occupied Crimea is a violation of Article 4 of the Geneva Convention. The official suggested that Russia is continuing the policy of population displacement that it has been employing since 2014 when it began to massively move people from Russia to occupied Crimea through various programs. About 600,000 Russian citizens were brought to occupied Crimea by official calculations and according to unofficial data, this figure may have reached 1 million, Chistikov said.